I never really prepared to have a baby, but I never made a take precaution from all the people there and so, so it just happened that I had a kid. And my girl get pregnant, had to deal with it. I will still live with my parents, never had a job, never had a stable home. And by my parents getting to find out, I had to build a house and I think I had to try build a house and so on move my girlfriend into the house. My parents um, always told me that I would never finish primary school. So then I was kicked out of school and I went to a ch children's home. I went to a hostel and I had a different life there. I came for home leave and I then went back. That's when I met her dad. We had a relationship and then from then it went far. When I was 15, I got pregnant with her. I graduated from St. Martin, the poorest primary school, when I was 14 years old. I was supposed to go to St. Michael's College. My boyfriend came and said, do you want to go and spend the summer with me? I just packed my clothes and I left. Telling my mother that I would be back in two weeks' time, knowing that I wouldn't be back till after two years. I had my first child when I was 17 years old because I didn't want to listen to anyone. If a girl gets pregnant around 15 years and without any other services to help her to adequately space the pregnancy, more unlikely around 22 years, 25 years, she will have two or three kids. I still did the same thing again. I ended up getting pregnant again when my son was two. I said, my teacher girl, I said, why are you going to get pregnant for again? I said, how, how life so hard? My mother again had to buy pampers, had to let me get close to my kid, feed me and three other kids. Maybe people have said that at this time, but I don't worry, I try to try help me because I don't want to stray away and go from the street and go with bad company. Well, to me, when I was, was pregnant with her, I was like, man, it really is this happening to me. Pregnancy during adolescence is not okay. And it's not okay under no circumstance. Well, my baby born premature at seven months, my baby, I'm seven months. I had to stay because they were keeping the baby in a hospital. So I my baby lived for like eight days. Every day I used to go to the hospital to look for my baby and feel good being a father, never expecting that my baby would have died. I was sure that I don't have to go out there and try get money to find her stuff. Her dad was always sure that her daughters have her stuff. When her father passed away, it was like a new a new step in life for me because I didn't know how you work to like get the pampers, buy a milk and it was hard for me and I tried very much and I thank God for the help that he's giving me and I'm working hard for him. If I had listened, it wouldn't have happened to me. If Melissa may listen to me when she was a young girl, you let me have life good, but never mind listen to me. When he listened to me because he told me Everything I was told when I was like 14, 13, 14, I was like, man, no man, I know I hear that. I know I listen to, no? I want to do my own thing. But if I would go back, I would listen because everything I could believe, so everything someone tells you, it will come back to you. I had listen a lot because I had to go find a job and thing, right? But I mean, I take it. One day at a time, being a father, I have to take it in my own hands because nobody never may help me my baby. I have to do it on my own, right? I didn't have discipline. I do whatever I wanted. I go where I wanted. I was a little girl and being on the street. I do whatever I want because my mom didn't care about me. Boys and girls that are very attached to the family are less likely to have unintended pregnancy. Of course, having access to school also increases the possibility of having access to information. I didn't need anything. I was fed. I had a shelter over my head. 
I had brothers and sisters that was there for me. I went to school. Nobody was annoying me. It's just me that didn't want to listen. You replied to me and said that I want to go to the college. I said, okay. I said, if you want to go to the extension, well, I'm going to send you there. Sometimes you even come to the sense that you feel like giving up, but you can't. Because when you look at your kids and you said that, you can't say that. Ah, left on the right there. To the parents, it's rough. They tell me rough because I cry and I think, miss me, baby, because I don't look forward to see me, baby, and I think, but. End up the last maybe a bit, so I have to get over it. And right now I still live with it and I have to get over it. I see young people that have their parents, the both of them, sitting down talking to them and like, man, they're not listening. I wish I could be in their place right now, sitting and talking to my parents because I lost my father just as like my daughter when I was young. How can the girl and the boy uh, make a decision to um commit to not having sex until marriage or until after reaching their personal goals depends on the quality of information that they receive. You can't be a good parent if you are not committing to talk about sex to your kids. Someone will tell them. So why expose them to get the wrong information then? What I have to say to any young girls out there that think that all it's about is party and not listen to your parents because your parents just doesn't like your boyfriend or doesn't want to hit them. It's not so. Sometimes parents see father out what we can see. Well, I look for life different because when the, the things were done happen already with my baby, I think my baby died, and I think my girlfriend has seven months, baby. The things we're going through, I, never, I, don't want, I don't really want to go through it right now. So I really wise enough and think better and think for like, the better in a life and try to change my life and thing. Pregnancy in adolescence lead to poverty and poverty itself contribute to adolescence pregnancy. So it's a vicious cycle that we need to um, we need to stop. Teenage pregnancy in Belize is definitely a huge problem. I think the last UNICEF report that I got had said that um, teenage pregnancy pregnancy in Belize was about twenty percent of young women in Belize. Sometimes I think I'm not nobody, I'm not, I'm not, I'm worthless, just like when you're dumb. But then sometimes it, I sit up and think, I am thinking this way, but people doesn't think about me that way. I got in the YES program and they support me and they strengthen me. And that is how I'm getting stronger. I'm trying to put my life together back for my three kids. Some of the educational um, topics that we give them, the key point is uh, self-esteem. We have to push that. We give them sexual and mental health, reproductive health. We have doctors coming in and nurses coming in and talk with them. We have um, topics that we give them to prepare them while they're pregnant, what to expect in the delivery room. And then we have topics of what to expect after the baby is at home. Next time, I we'll have to try and make it be more prepared and think to have our next baby. And don't really think that the rush to have a baby right now at the age of 17 because the first never prepared, right? So I don't really the rush to have no baby right now. To try to hold long, try to get a decent life and think, get a good job and settle long before I can have a next kid and think, right? A young girl should have the opportunity to reach her fullest potential and not um, sacrificing schooling and reaching her goals in life because of pregnancy. People know that were telling me, Jennifer, you won't finish school and they're seeing me graduating last two months. They said, man, what's, that's Jennifer. We are proud of you. Keep on going. I would say so the the young girls to hold up their heads, to lift up themselves, 
even if they have fallen, don't stay down. Try to get up back. Either get a job and go to a night school. It will be hard because they have the baby and everything, but you have to push through. I'm thankful that I'm grad I had graduated from YES and now I'm back in a high school. We have had many success stories whereby they would get pregnant early and then you'll see them juggling between the work and the school and running back home. But the end result is very good for them because then they could sustain the baby afterwards. So my thing is, if that has happened to any young lady, education, getting back in a school system is the right way. We offer them basically an alternative education, where they, which is a two-year program, and they come to us and they learn different skills. So they can get a job or later on if they want, they can go back into the ordinary school system, which most of them would do at some point. Me too. I love you too much time.